Hey everyone, this is Amy with Pretty Presets, and I am going to do a quick edit on this photo. Um, Jennifer had this edit posted, and um, the only reason that I am doing an edit on this is because um, there have been several posts lately wondering what to do about this haze that you see in here. Um, this is very, very typical of a photo when you're shooting um, backlights. You can tell that the sun is back over here and you've got all this light. I'm, I'm a hand talker, so I can, I'm moving my hands. <laughs> um, so you've got all this light back here that comes in, which, I mean, I look at a photo like this and I just think, oh my gosh, this is just, it's beautiful, it's perfect to me because I can look at this, this is exactly like the kind of photo that I would take intentionally. Um, if you've got that haze that comes in, it's totally okay, totally something that you're able to deal with in Lightroom and very easily. Um, I still am using Lightroom 5 just because when I did the switch over to Lightroom 6, it kind of like screwed up my whole workflow. Um, everything was just being really wonky and so I switched back over to Lightroom 5 and I just I haven't switched back again to Lightroom 6 because I'm very comfortable where I'm at. So um, you know I know that there's that dehaze slider if you had the CC version of Lightroom. So um, if you have that, that could be a tool to help you with um, the haze that's going on here. And then you also have um, over here in your uh, gradual filters, you have the um, dehaze uh, that you could use and you would just pull it down like this and that right there just, you know, helps with the, with the haze. So if I reset this, just watch her face right here as I click reset and you'll be able to see the difference see the difference right there. Um, but I'm going to show you what I do when I am um, editing an image like this and uh, so that way you can see. I think I, I had told Jennifer to uh, go ahead and post a straight out of camera shot. It looks like this kind of had some minor um, changes to it uh, before it because it, everything should be over to zero. Um, oh, just kidding. That was the haze thing. So I'm going to close this out. Okay, we're back at everything to zero. Um, it's the end of the Saturday. So, okay. So she had applied uh, milk and honey, which I think is a great preset for this. I think I've posted, I haven't had a love affair yet with milk and honey, but it's beautiful on this photo right here. Um, what I would do next with this photo is I would just come over here to my contrast and I would bring this up quite a bit and then I would come over here to my blacks and I would add in some blacks. I want you to see the difference and watch, especially watch down in here but also watch up in this area what's going to happen when I move those blocks. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here to clarity. Normally when I add it, I kind of like faces just a little bit more soft, not like super soft, but normally I'm like, I'm on this side of the zero, but for an image like this, because you have all that haze, you're going to come over to this side a little bit because it's going to make her a little bit uh, more without that haze there, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to your sharpening and you're going to increase that. I'm going to see, we're going to increase this here too. And I'm going to do a little bit of noise reduction. I want to see her face and see how that's working. Okay, I'm going to go over her eyes. She's got these beautiful blue eyes and I typically just do an eye sharpen on eyes 
So I'm going to do this because I want to be able to keep that in her eyes. I'm going to go back on here like this and then I want to bring down my highlights just a bit and my whites just a bit and I actually think I'm going to crop this just a little bit because I want to keep this beautiful light up here but I don't need quite as much down here and let's see if I want to do anything else in here okay I want you to see what I just did this is something that I don't remember where I learned this at but it's something that I will do um, pretty often in an image like this where there is that haze you go in here and you kind of play with the tone curve a little bit and this is exactly um, I don't remember who it was but somebody else posted in uh, the group earlier today and she had a question about the haze and um, she referenced that uh, the only video that she could find that we had uh, specifically about the haze was a lot longer than what she had wanted to watch and so one of the things that I like to do when I've, I've got this is um, a perfect photo to show this on is you see right here on the tone curve this is your middle point right here because you've got you know four 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 so this would be the middle area right here so what I will do is I will go about right here in the middle and I will pull it down in that spot and it tends to balance out everything so watch watch this part right here just watch that as I take the tone curve and pull it down a little bit did you see how that changed I'm pulling it back up again so you can see the difference it's up now now I'm pulling it back down it's up and now it's down just with that small adjustment everything looks a little bit more in focus or not I'm sorry not in focus but everything looks a little bit sharper we've lost some of that haze actually most of it it looks like to me um, we still were able to maintain that gorgeous light coming in from the back we are perfect on both sides here we don't have any blown highlights um, just a couple little things that I would do is is clone these out right there so we'll get rid of that we'll get rid of that and probably this one here above her head and we're done that's it that's all I would do to this photo um, Jennifer did a great job capturing this because um, this can be really hard because of that light it can be really hard to lock focus because of that light so let's see the before and after look at that isn't that gorgeous over here you've got the before and you can see and this is this is you know totally normal to have you know it's more flat on this side right here um, you don't have you know as much of the color being pulled out over here and you've got the haze that's going on over here and then you jump over here to the after and you've got this gorgeous little girl I mean this is a this is a photo right here that I would easily you know have a canvas made out of and put in my home so um, Jennifer did a great job with the photo and I just wanted to show you just a couple little editing tricks that you could do to help with the haze um, you can remember increase your contrast I didn't do anything to the exposure um, whatever moved over here with the exposure was because of the preset that I used so when it comes to the haze you can use your contrast slider increase that um, I usually have it um, not quite that high on most of my edits but with haze you have to because with haze what you're doing is you have to increase um, the contrast and the clarity because that's the only way that you can get through and pull out that detail that you have in an image so normally when you don't have haze you don't need to have your contrast and clarity bumped up that high because then it's gonna look too harsh 
But when you've got haze, it's like you've got to break through and you've got to get to those details. And that's how you do it. You, um, you increase the clarity and you increase the contrast. And sometimes you can um, go back into the blacks a little bit. And then, like I said, with the tone curve over here, this is my little trick that I use right here is right there in the middle, you just kind of slightly pull down on it. And when you're doing that, because um, I'm sure some of you are going to go, oh, I'm going to try this new trick. When you do it, do it very, very gently and slowly and watch your picture as you're doing it so that you can see there's no magic number. I can't say, oh, you should do it to this point. It, that won't work. You have to do it based on your photo. Um, and then don't forget to come down here and um, increase your sharpening. And then if you need to, do a little bit of noise reduction. So um, that's it. That's all I've got for you. So hopefully you go out and make something pretty today. Thanks, guys.